What's up guys? How's it going? Today, we are playing Game of Thrones, and this is part two of episode one. So the last one, we got introduced to uh, Garrett Tuttle. That's who we were playing as. We were playing as a squire, and we whooped some ass. So um, that's how we, uh, 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 yeah, uh, started the first episode. Sorry for that. Lost my train of thought for a minute. I'm talking a little bit too fast. But anyways, guys, I'm just on the pause screen. I know this is like a weird place to start. But we're getting right back into it, because I want to see if I can finish the first episode today with like three or four parts and put them out in one day, or two days. Never know, you'll see when you see it. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, yeah, so we're here at Ironrath, uh, stronghold of House Forester. So like, this is like the capital of House Forester, practically. It's Garrett! Oh yeah, Get by the, the way- Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived! By the way, my leg got totally screwed. Like, like, he stabbed me with a blade, like, in the meat, man. <laughs> Got it. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Well, damn. I, I tried. I couldn't do that much. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. Yep. He killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Oh, wait, she died? This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you, sister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Okay. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different. So, I mean, I had no choice. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? What? Oh my. What the? F what? What? These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. That's disgusting. What the hell? Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. I already got maggots oh, in my leg, so I mean... <laughs> I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. Right. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Alright, that is true. Okay, let's explore. The Lord's chair. The alert. Uh, the window. Oh, let's look at a window. The Ironwood Grove. Is that where we store all the ironwood? Like, uh, well, because it, it comes from trees. I believe. Well, okay, wood does come from trees, but um, ironwood is like is that like a special type of tree or something? Or uh, well, it's a special type of wood, but you can't go from the back of the chair. Okay. Um, let's look at this picture. This picture was interesting because um, it like zoomed in on it or something. It showed us that at the beginning of the. Of this episode, so Mira, 
Ryan, Lord Forrester, Roderick. He he's a goner. He's a goner. I don't know where that is. She'll be here any minute. I have no idea who that is. Talia and Ethan. So Ethan's that dude. So he's gonna be Lord now. Talia, I don't know who she is. Asher, I have no Asher. idea who he is. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh, he was. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Oh, Although, she's in the capital. I wonder if they'll bring her home. You never know, man. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Me self. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Yeah. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. All right, we learned a lot more about the foresters. That's a fact. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. <laughs> yeah, that's how usually it starts. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank well, you, thank you. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Right. Is it true? What? Your family... Oh, yeah. They uh, got uh, smacked. Mm-hmm. Someone... Uh, I'm so sorry. Pimped up on them real quick and... Uh, Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm oh. sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. Chill. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. I mean, you this can only do so, so much for one person. Difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told, I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Correct, yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? There was one thing, but I ain't gonna tell you. you. Past, if you can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. He demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Who the hell is that? I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Alright. Thank you. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do, but now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the um... ones who should be demanding retribution. They attacked me! And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. And I will say to we go to be smart. fuck themselves. Ramsey How about Snow that? will be here within the week. <laughs> and what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Smart. No pun intended. as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was <sighs> his family they killed. My uncle's right. 
We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? I don't know. Damn, I'm not no... I'm not a... Ultimately, yeah. it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. So who takes whose word of a what? Ramsey Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. <sighs> Damn. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Hopefully. I mean, like... Damn. Sending me to the wall. What, because I defended myself? <laughs> that's, that's fucked. But hey, I'll take it. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Um. So I have to leave today, tomorrow. I'm assuming today. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would, and God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. Oh, okay, so he's my uncle. What? I gotta... Lord Forrester. Asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, Tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. Mm-hmm. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Um, you're asking an awful lot of me, but um, I can definitely try. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Okay, so uh, I'm being sent to the wall now. Uh, the White Hills want me, uh, like, <clears throat> dead. So, I gotta go. Sadly, and unfortunately, because I like Garrett, this place. Wait. Oh, laddie. What the? What? Yes. You're safe. Oh, I will, laddie. Trust me. I'm gonna whoop that ass if I see something. <laughs> I'm taking all the hollow points lines. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, well, be safe, Lord Forrester, etc., etc. Ethan? Yes? Ethan! Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm playing as Ethan? Oh, damn, we playing a game of hide-and-seek. Okay, let's go. Uh, what? I find him. Could you? I'm behind a damn tree. How do you not find me? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's okay, just hold forgotten on. this is hold a on. game. Hold on. Hold on. Let's keep quiet for a minute. Ryan, look who we've found. Not me. I'm Bush. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. For now. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I yeah, well, I don't either. know. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. Hopefully. I mean, I did no say that. Tell me but... what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. But I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who Hopefully. said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight <laughs> What? <laughs> and he calls you a milksop. Oh, damn. <laughs> Roasted. Sir Roiland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... Like a man. Like a man. Like Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me, me how to fight. fight. Properly, I mean. Oh, and damn, so she can whip my fight. ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, yeah. That's smart. We all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. No, I don't remember that, because I, I was not a part of it. You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. Much fun. Then, then, then everything, everything changed. changed. Roger became, became so serious. The Lord in training. We never, we never smiled, smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Uh, I know the Lord has many responsibilities. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to father did sometimes but you're nice everybody says that about you but since you're the new lord you can do anything you want i suppose practically everyone will have to do as you say so i could have all the sweets i want if only it were that simple it would be nice if someone did what i wanted for once as many as you'd like yes really of course why not Gee, why not? Yeah, then go eat all the donuts. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Oh, shit. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If uh, I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Man, fine. I gotta go with him. That's what's required. I am the Lord. Very well, then. D Lord. I am D Lord.
See, why does everyone get butt hurt? Like, if you have to do something, they're like, Oh, man, I don't want you. Yeah, you may not want me to, but I have to. And there's differences here. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Correct. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Uh... There, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said. <gasps> Hopefully. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule over. True. Alright. What's good? Yes. Lord Ethan, is it? Uh -huh. My condolences for your father and brother. Okay. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. <coughs> Damn. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, this turkey. Okay, I see. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Are you kidding attacked me? For no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Exactly. And you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you okay. answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Damn. Lady Shut you Forrester. down. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Yeah, goddamn right. That lad may be lord of this house, 
Lord Bolton will have the final say. That's fine. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied okay. me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Okay. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Right. Okay, so we handled that fairly well. Your sister can help us. Time out, guys. Okay, so we're going to end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to show your support in any way, shape, or form. It is greatly appreciated by me. Now, um, so, just did that episode. That's, uh, part two of episode one. So, um, now that we're done with that, we can, well, eventually go on to number three. But until then, this episode is over. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to, you know, show your support in any way, shape, or form, as I said before. And it's been Salty Green Bean. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.